Hey there. So as you guys know, benchmark and star tests are quickly approaching. So I want to talk to you a little bit about one of the amazing resources that you are all going to get to use during your testing, the dictionary. So as you probably already know, a dictionary gives us the meaning of a word, the spelling of a word, and the parts of speech. So some really good information in a dictionary. But what you might not know is the dictionary in the back has a lot of other really great resources that you are allowed to use during testing. One of these resources in the back of the dictionary is a thesaurus, which gives us other words that mean the same thing. That is gonna be a huge resource for our fourth graders who are taking the writing. When you're doing your writing sample, if you're using the same words over and over, that's repetitive and it's gonna hurt your score. But you can use the thesaurus to think up new and fresh words to introduce into your writing, which will help increase your score. This dictionary also has a punctuation guide in the back. So if you're not sure the correct punctuation, use the resource. A grammar guide, which talks all about the parts of speech, when to use them, examples of them. Use the resource during your testing. Your teachers are gonna give you a little bit of time soon to explore these dictionaries, go through the different sections, get to know really what's in them so you know that you can use them. But the biggest thing I have to say, guys, is use the dictionary. Tell them during testing that you want to use the dictionary because this is a great way that you can confirm your answer. For example, if the question is about the meaning of a word, why not take the time to look it up in the dictionary and make sure 100% you got that question right? The other thing is you can use the dictionary to improve your work. Like I said, for our fourth graders taking the writing, you can make sure that your capitalization, your punctuation, your grammar, you're using lots of different words with the thesaurus. These are all amazing resources for you. So make sure you know about them and you use them. That being said, there's a lot of you and not a lot of dictionaries. We don't have enough dictionaries for every student to have their own. So I wanna make sure we're very clear about how we need to ask for dictionaries during testing and give them back during testing. Because remember, it's testing. So we can't be talking because that would make a distraction. We can't be walking around to go pick them up. Again, that would create a distraction. So when we're testing and you want a dictionary, there's three very simple steps you need to follow. First, raise your hand silently. Emphasis on the silent because people around you are testing. So raise your hand silently. The next thing is when you get that dictionary from the adult in the room, you need to get in, get what you need, and get out. We are not gonna waste time flipping through the pages, looking up random things, no, no, no. Get the dictionary, get the information you asked for it for, and then get out of that dictionary so you can get back to work. It's also important you're not hogging the dictionary and wasting your time because other people in the room might be waiting for that dictionary too. So first two steps, one, raise your hand silent, two, get in and then get out. The third step is when you're done with the dictionary, you're going to place it in the corner of your testing desk and then get right back to work. When the adult in the room walks around and sees a dictionary sitting in the corner of the desk, they know that that dictionary is now available to take back and give to another student. Three steps, raise your hand silently, get in and get out, place it in the corner of your desk. Now, in the event that you raise your hand silently, you ask for a dictionary and the adult in the room says, sorry, they're all taken right now. That doesn't mean you just sit there and waste time and wait for a dictionary, no. You star that question and you move on. When a dictionary becomes available, the adult will give it to you. You go back to that starred question and you get in and you get out, same thing. So again, make sure you're using the dictionary during your testing because it can help you confirm your answer or improve your writing work and make sure you're following those three steps. Raise your hand silently, get in, get out, and place it in the corner of your desk. Can't wait to see all the awesome test scores and see how much your brains are growing.